Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm a criminal defense attorney, and today I'd like to discuss one of my refusal cases. Uh, this is a refusal case that occurred during the winter time, and what made the case interesting was looking at the scene of where they gave the testing outside in the field and looking at the weather conditions. Uh, they had brought this young girl out of a car, and the reason that they stopped the car was because her driving was erratic. It was not, she was not staying in lane. And, uh, but the testing that they did on her out in the field, she had been coming from a party, so she wasn't planning on getting out of the car. When they started going through the testing with her, it was almost zero degrees outside, and she was wearing a tank top and high-heeled shoes. So needless to say, her performance on the test, walking a straight line, standing on one leg, was very poor at best, and the police officer reflected that within his paperwork. But they brought her back to the station, and they redid all the testing back at the station in a nice, clean, warm room. And we have all that on videotape. So we have a comparison between the outside testing and the inside testing. And on the inside testing, I would only have to say that she performed like a ballerina. Her testing was amazing. She was able to stand on one leg for the whole time, over 30 seconds. She was able to walk the straight line. But they were holding their case based on two things. They were holding their case based upon her driving and based on her testing out in the field. I went with this case to the hearings and everything else and we proceeded, it took us almost a year before we got it settled and we ended up getting a result of a reduction from a common law DWI down to a DWAI. But that's because we did not stop and when I took a look at the videotape, the prosecution wouldn't look at the videotape till right during the suppression hearing. Right before the suppression hearing is when the case got settled and it took that long to get a hearing in this particular court. You need to be tenacious sometimes with cases that you feel very strongly about. This was a case I felt very strongly about from the beginning. And you need to look at the case holistically. You need to look at the entire case, including a videotape like this. You can give me a call at 607-229-5184, or you go to my main website and blog. It's www.ithacadwi.com. I'd be more than happy to help you with your DWI situation. Thank you.